Eminem's been moving shady. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't been this disappointed since I pulled a ruler out and measured my own penis. At midnight, I know a bunch of people were excited. They set their alarms like waiting for Santa Claus to show up on Christmas morning with presents, only to go downstairs and realize that the only rapper that he had was a condom and your mom wrapped around him. Then you pull his beard down and realize he's your neighbor. But anyways, my childhood aside, everybody was expecting to get a brand new Eminem song. He even announced it on his socials. We had Big Sean, Baby Tron on this track. And the normal expectation when an artist announces a release date is that he is going to drop at midnight. Why an artist drop at midnight? Because we live in the era of streaming and numbers and records. And for you to give yourself the best chance when you drop, you want to drop it right away so that the ticker starts in terms of numbers. You want to drop it later in the day and already miss those valuable hours because every stream and every number counts and it adds up over time. I mean, I did find it interesting when Eminem announced the song dated, I pointed out that there were two different dates that he previewed for us because normally when you're going to drop, like Friday is always the money day for new music, for new drops, because that's when Spotify and the charts and they all reset and they start counting from there. So normally, if an artist is going to announce like a video drop on a Friday, you expect the full song to drop on that Friday too. So we knew that we were getting a Cole Bennett video on Friday. We've also been told we were getting the song today. Now there's an asterisk on that because while everyone expects it to be midnight, he could still drop it. We could still get it. But obviously we're all sad here. I got my day planned out. I'm like, all right, let's go. We're gonna make a new Eminem video today. We got a big breakdown. Let's get a good night's sleep. Let's wake up refreshed, ready to break down the bars to dive into it. And instead I gotta make a video like this. I still don't even know what I'm doing. Now, one thing I will say is that I've seen some chatter on the internet and people talking that Eminem is pissed about all the leaks. And it makes sense because there's been crazy leaks already with this album. Yes, I'm talking about that LL Cool J track that some of you heathens were trying to get me to react to. And what I will say is this regarding leaks. Please respect the artist's intention and their wishes. As an artist myself, I can appreciate if I'm working on an album, a new song, and somehow it gets dropped before the release date, of course I'm going to be annoyed about it. Of course I'm going to be pissed off. That might not even be the final signed off version. That's the issue with leaks, and that's why on this channel, especially around Eminem, I'm not going to react to a leak. I know you guys keep commenting, wondering where it is. Well, it's not going to happen. I'm going to wait for Eminem to drop the official version because that's his right. That's his artist's intention. As an artist myself, I can appreciate that, and once he drops that, then obviously we'll hit it and we'll react to it. And maybe this is why Eminem likes to just surprise us and just drop and not really have such a big buildup and all this momentum geared towards it. Maybe he's done this in the past because he realizes how annoying leaks can be and that was his way of avoiding leaks. Just don't give anyone a heads up. Just drop like a kamikaze bomb and apologize for it afterwards. But anyways, this is the present. This is where we are right now. This is the situation that we're dealing with while we all sit here and refresh and refresh and refresh. What we did get at the very least was an official album date and announcement. So you know what? We do have an Eminem video that we can react to, so we're gonna check it out right now. One. You're doing great. When I count to three, I need you to push as hard as you can. One, oh. two, and three. What? <laughs> He's not breathing. Wait, what? what in the Game of Thrones is happening? We're showing childbirth now. He's not breathing. Wait, what's going on? What's, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, no. It'll be okay. Try to calm down. Try to calm down. No. No. My baby. Oh. Okay. He's hurt. So you're the little bugger that kept kicking me at all that way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. What in the name of Damn God? Damn it, what baby! Do do <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! 712! July 12th! Wow, what in the demon baby's possession is happening? With a forked tongue? There's a lot of references right there. Guess who's back from Houdini? He's a demon baby. You know what I think is interesting? Is that this album is called The Death of Slim Shady. And yet, one of the previews and trailers, and what is a sort of consistent theme, is about a birth giving life. So maybe, 
as has been hinted at and suggested. This isn't the end of Shady. This is the rebirth of something new in a new era. I mean, just look at that cute little cuddly baby right there. Wow, only a mother would maybe not love that one. But all right, let's bring it back and appreciate this. So baby was stillborn, so then it was possessed, and then obviously we have spank butt CPR. Eminem's been a naughty boy. Yeah, look at the uh, Eminem, the Robin, the rap boy poster right there. Fear not, you're in the hands of heroes. I think there was another, yeah, right here too. Yeah, Pomp Somp Hills Hospital. He's been at Pomp Somp Hills before, wasn't he? Is that, that's the relapse days. So we're calling back to the relapse days. And then there was another moment too, you could hear a track playing underneath, the Pass m and m track. And I think when you have the parallels to Without Me, that played on Houdini, I think there's going to be a lot more parallels throughout this album. There's going to be a lot of callbacks, a lot of nostalgic moments. Maybe we'll take past beats, past sounds and productions to continue to introduce them here since it is the death of Shady. So therefore, we got to look back at the eras of Shady, but, you know, reinvigorate it, reinvent it like you did on Houdini. I mean, obviously, this is also some twisted shit. No. But that's Eminem. Hang on, where's the, uh, where's the track? I'm trying to figure out where the track is underneath. He's not breathing. Wait, what's going on? What's, what's, what's happening? Two and three. What? That's like my face trying to poop on the toilet in the morning. <laughs> He's not breathing. Wait, what's going on? What's, what's, what's happening? happening? It's like a movie, man. The epic cinematic hits in the trailer. Hook up the heart monitor. It'll be okay. Try to calm down. There's Rap Boy. <laughs> no. There's the flat line. <laughs> there it is. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Yeah. So you're the little bugger that. It's right there underneath, just foreshadowing. I'm kicking me out that way. I love how there's always Easter eggs and little layers to what Eminem does. And then look at those beautiful black eyes. Oh my god. What in the name of God? What did you do to him? <laughs> I like my eyes as a child when I used to like make official sacrifices of Care Bears and just rip their hearts out and dedicate them to Satan. <laughs> TMI. What the fuck? Holy Holy shit! Shit! Beautiful devil horse. Yeah, so there we go. I mean, there's your kind of breakdown of a trailer. I know it's not a song, but hey. 712. We know I'm gonna be locked in this room. I'm gonna get a bed dropped in here. I'm gonna have like a supply kit. I'm gonna be ready like the motherfucking Armageddon is coming. Cause I'm not going anywhere. Cause we are gonna have some work to do. New Eminem album is officially announced in terms of the date it is coming. And I will see you guys very, very soon for Toby. Just keep refreshing. All right, see you soon.